question. When you're afraid, where do you put your hope? When you feel falsely accused or misunderstood, what are you tempted to do? When your life feels threatened or maybe you feel persecuted or maybe you are just, uh, you look at the news and you're afraid of the future, uh, where does your heart run in those places and in those times? I don't know about you, but one of the things that has really encouraged me the most um, in the last couple years as I've walked through seasons of life where I have felt falsely accused, where I look at the news and I'm and I feel afraid, as I contemplate um, what's happening in our world and I, I, I want security. The fact that my God is my defender. My God is the one who will be my champion, who will be my protector. That truth is what gives peace and calm and just uh, stability to my heart. So um, welcome this week to Five Minutes in the Word with Redeemed Girl. I'm Marion, and if you're with us every week, what we're doing is we're diving into Scripture and we're looking at the character and the attributes of God. And this week we're saying, my God is my defender. And if you need defending, you need to know that he's the one that's got your back. If you're looking at the world and you're afraid, you need to know that he will never leave or forsake you. And the scripture we're looking at this week is from Psalm 119. Now, the Psalm 119 is one of those pivotal scriptures where it talks about the importance of God's word and how when we store up his promises in our heart, it's a light into our path and it gives us strength and wisdom. But in this, what the scriptures do is the scriptures reveal to us who God is. And so the reason we store up the scripture in our heart is so that we can know him more. And so the psalmist in the middle of this, he says, you are my defense defender and my protector. I put my hope in your promises. I hope you see how those two things go together. We acknowledge God as our hope, our defender and our protector by putting our hope in his promise where he says, your enemies are my enemies. Your needs are my needs. When you're in a covenant relationship with me, I've got your back and I will take care of you. And that's what this faith journey looks like, is that we daily put our hope in his promises, we tell fear to run out the door because we're believing Jesus, that we stand our ground and put our hope in him. That's what it means and that's what it looks like to believe that God is our defender. Now personally, this is something that you've got to choose to apply in the moment of weakness. When that girl says something about you and you want to come back and defend your name, it's that moment where you let God do that defense. And that moment where you're watching that news channel and it's telling you how the world is falling apart, that in your heart you have in that moment to put your hope in Him and say, I'm going to hope in your word. And that moment where you look at the bank account and you don't know how you're going to make ends meet, but you're going to trust Him and you're going to believe Him and you're going to believe that He is the one that's going to take care of you. See, as we know, that our understanding of God, who we believe Him to be, is what really our faith is about. It's about His character. And when those things become more real to us, our faith becomes alive, it becomes vibrant. Our testimonies are built on these moments that we've trusted and when we put our hope in His Word and we've said, no, I'm not going to give in to fear. I'm not going to give in to the lies of the enemy. I'm not going to give in to this. My hope is in His Word and I'm going to believe in this moment that my God is my defender. My prayer this week for you and for myself as we meditate on this scripture is that we would apply it to our hearts. This is not just something we learn in our heads. This is something that we walk out and we stand on in our daily lives.